had the flood in 93 on the Mississippi, the terraces and the, the diversions that they had to keep water out of the farming areas, uh -huh. uh, most of that was planted uh, in fescue. Mm -hmm. Uh, there was some switchgrass in certain sections of it, mm -hmm. and when the water started breaking over those, the only places that held was where the switchgrass was. Right. And you could see the you could go look at where it cut through and see the root system was down 10, 12 feet, mm -hmm. which is amazing. But we've known that for a long time on native grasses that they have an extensive root system. And yeah. it's part of it's part of what nature has. It, uh, these grasses have evolved to be able to survive in low rainfall areas and in drought times. Mm -hmm. We saw that as well. And uh, I was working for NRCS in 1973, which was the biggest flood at, up to that date. And uh, some of the switchgrass uh, survived under 60 days of being underwater. And uh, we, right. we, we saw exactly what you're saying that year as well.